Did you know that your liver is one of the most important organs in your body because it is saddled with the responsibility of removing harmful toxins from your body's bloodstream amongst other healthy functions. When your liver is not properly taken care of, it slows down on doing its job and its effects is seen on your body as fatigue, severe weight gain, massive bloating, headache, high blood pressure, poor skin health, slower aging, reduced digestion, high cholesterol levels, amongst many other not so healthy factors. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Power or Healthy Food series where I show you how to make lots of healthy and mouth-watering recipes using the Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil. But today, I'm not showing you how to make any recipes. I'm going to be talking to you today on the benefits of detoxification. Our bodies accumulate harmful toxins either through the food we eat, our environment, amongst other factors. And when these toxins accumulate, our livers aren't able to function correctly, which leads to our body feeling very unwell. The one sure way to remove these harmful toxins from our body is by undergoing a detoxification process. But what is detoxification, you may ask? Now, detoxification is simply the removal of harmful toxins or toxic substance from our bodies, which is usually caused by improper eating or drinking or not maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Now, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is the most sustainable way to ensure that the toxins do not accumulate in your body. But if you do not maintain a healthy lifestyle, it is always advisable that you undergo a detoxification process at least once every month. If you eat a nutrient-dense meal, exercise regularly, drink lots of water, sleep well, avoid stress, then you are definitely maintaining a healthy lifestyle. But just in case you don't maintain a healthy lifestyle or you find yourself once in a while indulging in some unhealthy food or unhealthy eating, then I tell you that you definitely need to detox at least once every month. Now, don't be scared, not to worry. I'll let you know exactly what you can do to detox and how you can detox. But first, let's talk about the benefits of detoxification. Now, the benefits of detoxification, either through maintaining a healthy lifestyle or undergoing a detox process or procedure are quite enormous, like they're so huge. And some of these benefits include enhanced immune system, prevention of chronic diseases, slowing down of premature aging, increased energy levels, weight loss, which is actually one of my favorites, improved digestion, which I also absolutely love. Um, it also helps to prevent high blood pressure. It gives you clear and beautiful skin. It helps to increase your brain performance amongst other healthy benefits. The detox process or procedure can span anywhere from a minimum of three days to 14 days or more. And during this period, there are strict rules that you must abide by. These rules are really strict because the aim of the detox procedure or process is to remove harmful toxins. So if you do not abide by these rules, you are not removing anything. Your body is still going to stay the same way. So at, during this period, you have to ensure that you're extremely disciplined. It's for the good of your body, guys. Remember I said that your liver needs this to function correctly. And if your liver is not functioning correctly, there is a number of things that can go wrong with you in a snap. And I think that's the reason for so many illnesses and sicknesses and diseases that we have. So we need to pay better attention and care to our liver health. Now, the very first rule in my rule book or in the general detox rule book is you must eat only nutrient dense meals during your detoxification process or procedure. What are nutrient dense meals? Nutrient dense meals are meals that are packed with lots of plant based ingredients, lots of organic ingredients, meals that have lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, nuts seeds, meals that are made basically with nutrition in mind. During this period, you are not allowed to eat any junk food. You are not allowed to eat pastries like your cake, your meat pies, no fizzy drinks, all of those things. You need to push them aside and welcome all of your fruits. Welcome your vegetables, fruits like your apples, your mangoes, pineapples, watermelons, bananas, you name them vegetables like your spinach, your kale, cucumbers, um, 
we have lots of vegetables and I'm sure you already know them. So you have to load up on all of these fruits and vegetables. Now, one of the rules under eating more nutrient dense meals is to ensure that one of the secrets I give is to ensure that at least 80% of your plates are packed loaded with healthy and nutritious foods that are filled with vegetables. Um, you can use, for example, you know how you have your whole, um, your white pasta or your white rice, you can substitute that with whole grain pasta or whole, whole, whole grain rice or your brown rice. You can consume a lot of healthy fats like your avocados. You can like, there's just some natural changes that you can make to your meals to make them a whole lot healthier. You find healthier cooking alternatives to making the meals that you usually make that are unhealthy. And then of course, making more of your meals at home by yourself so that you are able to control the kind of, the amount of ingredients, the kind of ingredients and the quality of ingredients that goes into creating the meals is very helpful. So all of these rules abide under the ensuring that you eat more nutrient dense meals during the period. So that's the number one rule in my book. And without that rule, there's no toxins leaving your body. <laughs> the second rule in my rule book or in the general detox rule book is ensure that you perform high intensity exercises that actually make you sweat a lot. Because when you sweat a lot, you're going to be releasing lots of toxins from your body to sweating. And then of course the exercises also help increase your metabolism rate so that it's easy for you to digest your food and it's easy for your body to process the food that you put in your mouth. So exercising is very, very important. And like I said, during this time, you have to perform high intensity exercises. So there's a difference between low intensity exercises and high intensity exercises. High intensity exercises are exercises that help speed up your heart rate and also make you break out a lot of sweat. Exercises like your cardio, um, running or jogging on the streets or um, doing your jump, jumping jacks or your skipping ropes. Just so many high intensity exercises. So you can just check online to find out which one you actually love because I tell people, find an exercise that works for you so that exercising doesn't feel like punishments. But during this period of your detox, you have to ensure that you are at least exercising at least three times a week. My number three rule is you cannot compromise on quality sleep during your detox process. You have to ensure that you get at least eight hours of sleep every day. Now, what happens when you sleep is that your body has the time to reset itself there is a science to it. I think you can read it up online, but sleep is one of the most important things that your body needs because your body actually needs you to be calm and in a state of complete rest for it to perform a total reset. And during that reset process, a lot of beautiful things happens in your body that you are not even aware of. But I tell you, you cannot compromise on quality sleep during this period. Ensure that you have eight hours of quality, when I say quality, uninterrupted restful sleep. Not waking up at intervals every 30 minutes to look for what's not looking for you. <laughs> quality sleep that has no distractions whatsoever, okay? The number four rule in my rule book when undergoing a detoxification process is to ensure that you get rid of anything that stresses you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, anything that just stresses your well-being and makes you agitated or anxious or tensed or nervous, take it out of the way at this time. Do not stress your body because there's something stress does to you and to your health that is not really good for your health. So ensure that there's nothing stressing you, nothing, no human being, no work, no pressures. Try as much as possible to detox your mind. <laughs> distress forget anything that's worrying you and try to to think positive thoughts try to think thoughts that are joyful you have to it actually requires an effort to make it happen stay positive stay joyful stay happy focus on the things that excite you that interest you focus on the things that make you happy and fill you with joy during this period and please make this a lifestyle because i tell you when you make this this a lifestyle 
your life literally turns around and you start to look at things from a whole different perspective and things actually start to look a lot more beautiful in your eyes so ensure that you're distressing something you can do to relieve the stress is visit a spa have a spa session just go in there get a good massage a good body scrub spend some time in the sauna just relax and just be calm life is good everything will be all right okay <laughs> my fifth rule for your detoxification process is to ensure that you drink lots and lots and lots of water three liters of water is the minimum <laughs> yeah three liters of water is about 10 glasses of water you guys if you know the magic that water performs in your body you will be loading up on water like never before water does so much for your body um, which includes like cleansing your body like the water is one way to get the toxins out So you have to load up on water during this period and my sixth tip is minimize your exposure to toxic Environments during the period of your detoxification toxic environment that have bad odor um, chemical pollutions like Environments that's basically dirty dusty. You don't want to be out in the dust avoid um um, air pollution noise pollution actually yeah um, and then also avoid using chemicals Chemi so much too many chemicals on your body try as much as possible to use um, organic um, body sprays organic um, deodorants body mist perfumes like there's yeah, so perfumes that are actually I don't have a lot of chemicals in them try as much as possible to use this chemicals at this point because truth of the matter is that toxins go into your body through the chemicals that you put on your body and most of the deodorants the perfumes the sprays and all that we put on our bodies are made with lots of lots and lots of toxic chemicals so you have to be very mindful of the chemicals and your exposure to a toxic environment during this period as much as possible detoxification is easier if you make it a lifestyle i promise you once you are able to consistently do these things that i have talked about now for seven days 12 days 21 days it becomes a lifestyle eating nutrient dense meals should be a lifestyle drinking lots of water should be a lifestyle ensuring that you get quality sleep should be a lifestyle ensuring you don't allow stress in your life should be a lifestyle so instead of just waiting for a period of time to get these things done Make it a lifestyle and it will be a lot more easier for you and you will be amazed at the results that you're seeing on your body so yeah these are all the rules i'm going to be sharing with you and the benefits of detoxification i hope you've learned a thing or two and if there are any rules that you may have at this point please leave us a comment in the comment section down below we want to know what your rules for um, undergoing a detoxification process or procedure is all right guys i'll see you next time take care